I remember the day so vividly. I was in Israel for the second semester of my senior year of high school, and the whole country was abuzz. Anatoly Sharansky, the famous Soviet refusenik, was being freed and coming to Israel. There was such excitement in the air, such a sense of joy. The most famous refusenik in the world was finally free. The story that led up to Sharansky's triumphant escape from Soviet Russia is long and complicated. Anatoly Sharansky was born in the Soviet Union in 1948. After university, he became an English interpreter for Soviet scientist and dissident Andrei Sakharov. In 1973, at the age of 25, Sharansky applied for an exit visa so he could emigrate to Israel, but he was refused on security grounds, a common tactic of the Soviet authorities. Jews whose visas were denied became called refuseniks. After his visa was denied, Sharansky became more and more involved in the Jewish refusenik community, becoming an activist and a symbol of the Soviet Jewry movement worldwide. The day after his marriage to Natalia Stieglitz in 1974, Natalia emigrated to Israel in the hopes of being able to bring Anatoly over as well. Upon arriving in Israel, Natalia changed her name to the Hebrew name Avital. She worked tirelessly from the moment she arrived in Israel to obtain freedom for her husband, but that freedom would be long in coming. In 1977, Soviet authorities arrested Anatoly Sharansky. A year later, he was falsely convicted of treason and espionage on behalf of the United States. During his time in various Soviet prisons, he was frequently placed in solitary confinement and subjected to torture. While in solitary confinement, Sharansky famously played chess in his head in order to keep his mind active and to keep himself from losing his sanity. Finally, in 1986, after intense pressure from President Ronald Reagan, Sharansky became the first political prisoner ever released by Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev as part of an East-West prisoner exchange. Just after being freed, he was met by the Israeli ambassador in Berlin, who presented him with the document which he had yearned for for over a decade, his new Israeli passport under his Hebrew name, Natan Sharansky. When he arrived in Israel on February 11th, he was given a hero's welcome. As the eyes of the rejoicing nation watched, he was greeted by Israeli Prime Minister Shimon Peres and other Israeli dignitaries. After being freed, Sharansky worked tirelessly to obtain the freedom of millions of Soviet Jews still in the USSR. Famously, he was one of the organizers of and a featured speaker at the historic 1987 Soviet Jewry rally in Washington, DC. I was there, I saw it. Sharansky has held many important leadership roles in Israel, including being a member of Knesset, a minister in the Israeli government, and the chair of the Jewish agency. He's the author of a number of books, including his famous memoir, Fear No Evil. The anniversary of Sharansky's release from the Soviet Union is not only a day of celebration for the Sharansky family, but indeed for the whole Jewish people. <laughs>